Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. I have a treat for you today. This is a family favorite. Now when I say family favorite, I just don't mean my family. I mean all of my family. This is one of their favorite meals that my mom has been cooking for 40 years. A golden nugget that I just learned when I asked her to run through the recipe with me one more time was that this recipe came from one of her good friends named Jackie. So Jackie gave this recipe to my mom and she told my mom this was a Polish recipe from the heart. I looked that up on the internet, seeing if I can find a story behind it, and I cannot. This recipe is super easy. I have tried to make this non-fat, low-fat, and uh, make it a crock pot. Doesn't work. So, when I say a stick of butter, use a stick of butter. When I say Polish sausage, do not go out and buy turkey. Use Polish sausage, or you can use bratwurst if you cannot buy Polish sausage. But don't, don't go using turkey. We want that fat from that sausage to get in with this sauerkraut also. Stay tuned for this Polish recipe from the heart, sauerkraut and sausage. We are going to start by putting one stick of butter in. We want the onions to become almost transparent. Not transparent, she said almost transparent. Our two diced onions or one large onion and our mushrooms, we get to put in your discretion how many you want. Now remember, fresh mushrooms will cook down quite a bit. And also, you don't want this on high heat because your butter will burn. At this point, we're also going to add some pepper. We don't need salt because our sauerkraut is very salty. While this is cooking, we are going to rinse our sauerkraut. When you go to buy your sauerkraut, do not buy sauerkraut that says Bavarian sauerkraut, uh, sometimes German sauerkraut. What you want to buy is sauerkraut that just has two to three ingredients. Cabbage, salt, water. That's it. When we rinse this, we're going to rinse it two to three times to get rid of some of that salty flavor. If you don't rinse it, you are going to have some really salty sauerkraut. This is looking so yummy. I could just eat it like this alone, just with the mushrooms, onions, and butter. Oh, looks excellent. We rinsed for sauerkraut. Our mushroom and onion mixture is perfect now to add our sauerkraut in. So we're just gonna nestle this in. I was told your sauerkraut should start to brown. So I'm gonna time it. So then my family and you guys all know about how long you should cook this. While this is cooking, I'm going to get my bratwurst browning on the stove. All right, our sauerkraut looks absolutely amazing. It is definitely browned from the, when we started till now. It definitely looks different. There's some brown bits around in there. And this is the scary part, and this is why I have a hard time making this dish. I even had to call my mommy. She told me on the phone, if it looks dry, just add more butter. So I was like, okay, you know, and I put a few pads in, and. This is why every time I make this, it doesn't turn out because I don't want to do what my mommy tells me to do. But this time I did. I put the butter in there. This is not low fat. This is a high fat meal. Oh well, the show must go on. It's a high fat, delicious meal. A 
Polish recipe from the heart. Now, we have our sausage that's been browned, but not cooked all the way through. We have our sauerkraut that's been browned with our onions and our mushrooms and all that butter. And now we're gonna nestle them in this nice Dutch oven here and put it in the oven for two hours on 325 with the lid on. The last about half hour, take the lid off to get a little browning on top. Let's get this going. All right, it's been two hours. It looks absolutely delicious. Let's try it. Let's get a big old mushroom in there. Oh man, I can't wait. Mmm. Now that tastes just like how my mom makes it. Not the low fat version that I've always tried to do. I was afraid, believe me, I was afraid putting all that butter in here, but once in a while, you know, you make this once, twice a year. Mm. I ended up about halfway through the baking, I sliced the bratwurst, uh, each one into about three pieces, just to let some of those juices run through into the sauerkraut. It is so good. A Polish recipe from the heart. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you next week. Oh, and serve this with a good beer for Oktoberfest. Right? Get a good Hefeweizen or whatever else is a German beer. <laughs> Thanks.